that wind is that wind is crazy out there. It's I don't know what it's blowing. If I was gonna guess, I'd say 30, 35 miles an hour. The plants are taking a beating from the boxes, just blowing and spinning around and banging into them. And uh, really, I mean, they've got rebar stakes in them, but then the wires pushing up against one side of it. But it is not doing it any any favors by trying to push that box up over the top of that stake and rubbing all over the, uh, the bottom of the stock and trying to push it over. So I'm uh, adding some bamboo and I bought all the bamboo I could get in town and uh, I'm going to have to run into bigger town and pick up a bunch more bamboo. This, uh, they didn't have very much over here. But I think if I can get them staked uh, on two sides, the box won't move around so much and won't beat the plant up. So, but anyway, it is, it's crazy. I, we've had 100 degrees and over 100 degrees, and we've had, now then, it's, it's so cold that uh, you can't hardly stay out there in the wind. It, the wind chill is so cool, but um, it's supposed to get up to... 60 something today and then down in the 40s tonight yeah down in the 40s tonight i tell you these uh the, the environment in west texas is not the uh best environment in the springtime for growing anything i don't care how much you try to protect it the wind and the heat is just gonna eventually get to it and uh set you back some but i think these things are gonna be all right it's just going to take a little time. We're going to have to get them established. Uh, but uh, we're, we're doing the best we can. Day, day 21, I believe. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll do what we can. last night come through with some hail you can tell it just shredded these trees shredded the leaves off really tore the place up just ripped the leaves right off of the trees the top of that tree was really really full at one time it just about defoliated the, the whole top end of that thing and just uh, set it back to stick. 